What's going on, Elements? This is your boy, Rise Tice, and today it's the Q&A! Tice! Shout out to Tiger Tiger and Chip. Of course, the cool kids. Hey. Din Din. By one. So, the first questions will be coming from... Bum ba da dum bum bum we're gonna start right here at Twitter. All right, so Rise Nick says, "Who favorite Rise member?" Now this question, of course. Oh man, this question is is definitely hard, a hard question, but today is gonna to be very simplified because in my eyes, um. Every <laughs> Rise member is my favorite because each and every one of them has their own personality, and they're having they're so great as far as uh, what they do that you can't just pick one. You would have to you would have to at least pick half of the team, and and that's that's one thing about Rise skating. Like it's more it's more like you wouldn't be on Rise. If you didn't have some type of talent, or if you didn't have some type of, uh, oh crap, if you didn't have some type of, you know, personality, there's no way you you would be on Rise. Uh, so, to answer that question, I, all of the Rise members are my favorites. Just just to be straight up with you. And we have, and that was from that was from Rise Nick and Rise A Deuces. Those they try to get me. They try to get me. We'll see. Uh, Rise Blaze says, "Who's your favorite rapper?" My favorite rapper, hands down, is Eminem. Like day one. Well, I won't say day one. I would say when I first started listening to music, I was in my brother's room while he was at work, and freaking, and pretty much. Man, we, me and my sister would jump up and down on his bed while he was at work at Taco Bell. And uh, the name of the song was, uh, what was the name of the song? I think it was The Real Slim Shady. And we was jumping up and down on his bed. But yeah, nonetheless, Eminem is my favorite rapper. It's even to, the, even to this day, still my favorite. Like, it's crazy. Next question. And this is from uh, Rise Skating Live at a cell. In your eyes, what makes a great live streamer on Twitch, any game, any genre? And I would say, in my eyes, a great streamer would be anyone who, who's like constantly, constantly talking to the viewers, the followers of the channel. And, that, and this could be for um, this could be for YouTube also because you can stream live on YouTube. Constantly talking to your viewers, uh, try to answer their questions to the best of your ability. Um, I would say definitely have that face cam. Face cam is a big one, a very big one, and most people like uh, they can get away with it sometimes, but guarantee they'll have a lot more viewers if they put their face cam on. Um. Quality, quality of the stream. Like, if you if that chunk is lagging, bruh, it's time for you know, it's time for you to upgrade. You know your your internet services and things of that nature. I'm gonna go ahead and change the map here. Actually, actually no, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some more trick lining, or I'm, I'm gonna try to trick line. But anyway, yeah, definitely. Um. So definitely have face cam, talk to the viewers. Uh, I wouldn't say you need like a, a lot of people um, say that you need like a dedicated, uh, you need a dedicated like a uh, time to stream. But I would say um, as long as you're in contact with your viewers, so i.e. social networks, gotta have social networks. That's a big one. Social networks is going to help you and your um and your your viewers come together, 
and they'll know when you're going to stream so there's no confusion and things of that nature oh crap so yeah that's pretty much that next question this is from sklz he says uh is it true that you like pizza i love pizza um preferably uh mushrooms i like the mushrooms with the uh the sausage you know what i'm saying that's my pizza you know what i mean that's my thizang i love that pizza we'll see next next uh caleb minion asks did you like the rise meetup i love the rise meetup it was it was amazing um definitely a big life experience from you know actually meeting meeting uh your team uh off a gaming community it's not a lot of time that you you get to meet your team in, in real life like you're behind a controller like 20 24 7 whatever you whatever um activities that your team may have whether it's uh sending videos and you know collaborating on skype and i mean you get to see them but you don't get to like actually interact with them physically like say for instance if you had like skater and chris they, they tussled the whole time where we were at uh <laughs> that we were at orlando so you know it's definitely a big it's definitely a big change in scenery when you're actually there with them next question what inspires you to play skate 3 and do youtube but this is from convict what inspired me to to play skate 3 um right off the jump i would say i would say just being just being active as a kid like my brother and my cousin uh rest in peace my cousin matt uh they they always had a skateboard and man they was doing ollies and jumping over stuff and pretty much it was more like man i want to do that but i never had the money to buy a skateboard so what i did i took some plastic board and um i took my my skate my skate wheels from my uh my skates like that you roll your roller blades and i made a skateboard with it and man yo <laughs> it was ghetto but hey it's what i had you know and you know in the gaming community any any type of sports game that has skate skateboarding in it i was on it i love skateboarding you like and um since i did it in real life that's that's what i wanted to play my games i wanted to i wanted to play skate games so i could learn to do tricks um and skate skate series by itself it just looking at if you if you actually did a trick and slowed it down it shows you the actual movement so what you have to do to uh, make that board you know what i'm saying um make that board make the action to get the move down complete so uh as far as youtube as far as youtube i was always on youtube uh especially for music i was on youtube but i wasn't really uh active doing the music thing but as far as gaming goes um i just decided hey um I'm, I'm pretty sure there's someone out there that want to see you know to see this gameplay and you know why not why not the game that i love to play all the time so i started like kicking out videos <laughs> and uh whether whether i sucked or or I, or not you know people people looked people looked and it was like man you suck well actually i didn't i didn't get um i didn't get like hate hate messages until after um i started getting a following once i got up to like once i got up to like a hundred subscribers or what have you people in the community were like man i got thumbs up i never had any dislikes on my videos and then like um once i got past like 150 that's when hate started to come in and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put any names because you know nobody was hating until names from the actual community started like bitching about my you know <laughs> about my videos because i had like there were some videos where i got more views than people that were you know already in the community already so you know instead of trying to help me they was trying to down me or whatever and i was like 
okay, whatever. You know, I, I got my fan base already, so you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't really worried about what he was saying or what he or she were saying, but uh, I did take it in consideration, but I didn't know, you know, I didn't know their drive behind it because they won't try, they wasn't trying to help me. Who would, who, who would want anybody else to take their spot? I mean, that's not what I was thinking. I was thinking, hey, I love, I love this community, and you know, I'll do whatever I can for this community. But they won't. They was just trying to get me out of the community rather than help me. So, um, that's <laughs> that's pretty much that. I guess I, I guess I, skateboarding in general just inspired me to do skate three and YouTube.